All right. I want to talk about desktop publishing and in doing so, I want to show you things that people are going to find annoying, but in desktop publishing, you have to have you have to have patience and you have to learn how to do this. First things first, we go to Word, Preferences, View, Text Boundaries, you must have those on. Next, non-printing characters. Non-printing means they will not print. They will only show up on the screen. You need to have all of those on. All right. So now we can click OK. Ta-da! The next thing you want to have on is the ruler. You see it disappeared from here. And you go to view and you go to ruler. So it's on across the top. And if you look here on the left hand side, it's over here as well. The next thing you should have on is formatting. You need to format. You need the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar. Formatting toolbar is you know your style. That's important. The font, the size of the font, bold, italics, underline, alignment, all of these. And this is left, center, right, and justified. You need the numbering. You need the bullets. You need to have your in indents on. You need all of this when you're doing desktop publishing. It Desktop publishing is a different animal. So... Desktop publishing in Microsoft Word. On the Windows side, it would be 2016, 2013. On the Mac side, it would be uh, 2016, uh, 2011. Maybe 28. But don't hold your breath. So now The reason I bring up desktop publishing in Word because Adobe has InDesign. Then there's Quark Express. And, oh, Microsoft does use, they consider uh, Microsoft Publisher part of a desktop publishing software for them, but um, all depends on where you're, where you're going with that. Now, I know people think that these, these show and hides are just, a, but you need them. You do need them. I mean, there's just no two ways around us. You need them. All right, and 
what else? There's another one out there, but I can't think of it now. Um, oh, you could also use Corel Draw for the um, for the uh, photos, clip art, um, and in clip art. you would want to um, you might want to convert them convert the extensions and by that I mean If you have an if you have a photo that has a ping extension, uh, you might want to convert it to a JPEG. So that's what I mean by converting it to extensions, because sometimes the, the, uh, the internet won't take everything, or where you're publishing it won't take everything. But yes, these are the different companies that um, will help you along the way. But desktop publishing lets you create a newsletter for your company or your business. Sometimes uh, uh, newsletters can be weekly, bi-weekly, bi monthly or whatever you desire but I say Microsoft Word because it's the first thing you learn and there's a few pe there are a few people out there who learned InDesign or Quark or they know Publisher or some other version but um, a newsletter is something it, when you when you do it in Microsoft Word, if you know everything about it, everything about you can create your own newsletter, and then you can take it to Kinkos and have them you know print it there for you or do whatever. But that's what this is: creating a newsletter that you know how to do. And if you are around people, most of them know Microsoft Word. A lot of people don't know InDesign. You might know that one. A lot of people never even heard of Quark Express. They won't know how to, they, they will just get confused just by looking at it. Uh, they've used Publisher, but not the way that you would want. And in the end, desktop publishing in Microsoft Word is your only savior. So that's what this course is going to be about. So I hope to see you. I want you to sign up for it.
and it will be well worth your money to learn how to do this. I mean, you might want to do something for your business and impress your boss or impress his or her boss. You know, go to them. You know, it's not just uh, a newsletter. You might want to do um, postcards, send them through the mail. You might want to do invitations. There's all kinds of different things to do. But, and one more thing. When you go to file, new from template. And when you go to templates, here we are. Publishing layout view. Newsletters, brochures, flyers, certificate posters, cards, invitations, signs, catalogs. The newsletters. You want to take a look at these. Take a look at these newsletters and see what you like and don't like. I mean, and they can be for anything. These can be rearranged. You can over here, this is saying two, it's showing you every single page in here. It's six pages long, and it shows you everything. And when you go to each one, this is four pages. You can change the color scheme. You can change the font scheme. And it gives you the combination. So if you want to use Ariel, you would use Times New Roman for the the body of the of of the um, of the text. And so you 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 have all these different versions in here. But that's what this is about. Maybe you want to create a newsletter and get some interest going in a project that you're working on. And all you have to do is click on it. Also, if it's too small, you can't see that. There's a slide down here. So you can move it all the way up and then slide down and take a look and go, Oh, look! See, here's something about money. Maybe this is the one you want. And here it is. Let me just now this is what I was talking about. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And you see, if you didn't have the text boundaries on, you wouldn't know how wide the, these little columns are. And it it gives you a really good idea because you can't see any of this stuff. If I go to File, Preferences, View, and turn off the text boundary box, you think, oh, I can do that without... No, you cannot. Stevie Wonder could, could, could tell you can't do this without the text boundary boxes. The whole thing. So you know you have an idea, but you don't... You, you, you must have on the show and hides and... References, view, text boundary, so that you can see where these are, where these little boxes are. You know where where to put the the information here in the in the, in the corners. And look, they're in two separate columns, and that's the header, that's the footer. I mean, everything you're going to learn in Word, you will learn how to put eventually. You, sh you should be able to put one of these together. But that's it for now. And think about taking the class when I offer it. And this could, you know, put you on a whole new path of creating newsletters for other people. So, boys and girls, girls and boys, I will see you in the next video.